Do they do this in the U.S.? Well, everybody has a special uh, piece that they do. Hey, everybody, welcome to our little Facebook Live. Guess who just gave his first TEDx talk? Ricky Shetty, the daddy blogger, digital nomad. <laughs> and we just found out about it. And he actually has good internet connection right now. So uh, congratulations, Ricky. What's your top tip for people trying to uh, not just get accepted, but working up for their first talk, like uh, Jen on the jet plane here in, in a couple of hours, who I'm actually going to go see. What's your advice? Yeah, I literally completed my first ever TEDx talk today, just a few hours ago. It was a whole day event. So after the whole day event, I got back here to my hotel and I'm celebrating. Got a certificate uh, to prove I'm a TEDx speaker. Uh, so, oh man, what a rush. I feel so excited. I feel so relieved uh, because uh, I put in like 120 hours of work uh, for the last month on this talk. So I just feel, you know, like the waiting to exhale. Well, now I can exhale because it's over, done, complete. But it's just beginning because now that I'm a TEDx speaker, I'm part of the select few and I can leverage this talk for more speaking, not just speaking, but paid speaking uh, for media interviews. For higher paid clients, uh, use it uh, obviously in social media, YouTube, etc. So my top tip uh, for people who are uh, preparing is give yourself plenty of time because there's a lot of moving variables to a speech. You got your opening, you got your body, you got your conclusion, you got your slides, you got your call to action, you got all of the presentation skills. You need to have eye contact, you need to have body language, the hand gestures, even the speed of your talk. And also the intonation, the pitch and uh, the tone, um, and also the entrance and the exit from the stage. You got to make the talk relevant to two, type, two types of audiences, the local, in-person, physical audience, and also the virtual, digital, YouTube audience. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of moving parts and variables. So you got to find that balance between all of those pieces. <laughs> well, hey. Uh, well, hey. Just on just behalf not, of everybody, everybody, like we're getting a little bit of echo. All right, going to mute Ricky's side. Uh, on behalf of everybody, congratulations, great job. A lot of uh, effort put forth in there, and uh, we're all so happy for you. Um, what's your advice uh, for, I don't know, for, uh, for people who are seeing this, seeing the fruits of your labor, and they haven't yet gotten accepted. They haven't even started yet. What's your advice for them? A um, lot, a lot of advice I could give. Uh, but the main thing is you gotta apply, right? That's the simplest piece of advice. If you don't apply, you won't get accepted. Um, the thing is, like, uh, don't just apply to one uh, TEDx event and just hope and pray and uh, wish that that's the only one uh, that's closest to you, that's the biggest, the most uh, luxurious, prestigious. Don't do that. Just apply to any and all TEDx talks, um, maybe in your city, your state, or even across the country. Like, for example, I'm here in the Philippines. I'm living close to Manila, the capital. But this particular TEDx event I did was actually in the central Philippines. And I actually took a bus, a boat, and another bus just to get here. Um, so for me, it was important enough to commute um, outside of where I'm staying for the sake of uh, joining that select community the TEDx community. Uh, luckily, they sponsored our hotel. I'm actually in the hotel room right now. Uh, so they sponsored this really nice hotel here, and they sponsored us food while we were there, and also uh, local transport um, uh, in in the city. I do I do come here on my own in terms of the um, the bus, the boat, and the bus. But uh, once I was here, they treated us uh, like royalty, uh, and I really wanted to thank uh, the TEDx team here in the Philippines. Uh, it was their first time ever hosting the event. And they did a phenomenal job. Uh, they actually, a uh, team of students, uh, a lot of them are like 23, 24, 25. I just want to honor them because when I was 23, 24, 25, I don't think I could put on a TEDx event. I just didn't have the skills. I didn't have the mindset. Um, and I didn't even have the leadership abilities. Whereas these guys, uh, kudos to Michael. I want to send him this video later. But just um, I just wanted to uh, thank them publicly here. And I just wanted to uh, give you guys encouragement uh, who's watching that, Apply and apply and apply, and you will get accepted. Uh, just uh, figure out that idea. Because the thing is, 
they don't select speakers. They don't select the best speakers. You know what they select? The best ideas. Well, Ricky Shetty, congratulations. And uh, we can't wait to see the footage and uh, hear more from you on your next uh, talk in your next continent, my friend. Take care. And I do have an unofficial TEDx video. I don't want to post it publicly, but if you're interested, I'll send it to you privately because the official TEDx video is going to be uh, edited and it'll come out in a few weeks. But if you want the unofficial one, uh, just shoot me a private message. So tune out here from the Philippines with my TEDx certificate. Nathan, I just wanted to thank you as well, my friend. Uh, thank you for the coaching, the support, the encouragement. I love you, my friend, and uh, thanks again for everything you've done for me and also the whole Get, Ex Get Accepted community.